In this presentation, we are going to look at some set operations, and in particular, what we're going to do is uh, union and intersection for this particular presentation. So let U, the universal set, be the integers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way up to 9. So 1 to 9. And what we're going to do is uh, define these uh, six subsets, A, B, C, D, and E and F and what we're going to do is answer some questions on them so I'll just first so find in the first instance A union B and A intersection B and uh, second question A union C union D and C intersection D and C union F and sorry E union F and E intersection F so just unions and intersections for each pair so let's look at the first one here, A union B, and what we have here is um, A union B. So first off, let's write out all of the elements of A, just because it's got more. And what we're going to do is uh, just point out that for and 5 are in both. So we don't need to mention them again. So just let's write in the remaining elements of uh, B that are not yet mentioned. And they are 6 and 7. So that is the answer to the first one there. Let's just be clear. Here are the elements of A. Here are the elements of B. Now, the next one is A intersection B, and this is the elements that are in both A and B. So here it's pretty clear that it's 4 and 5, that they are the only two elements that are mentioned in, uh, are part of both. So the answer to this one is 4 and 5. So that's the answer to the first one. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, and 4 and 5 for the intersection. Let's look at another example here. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is C, and 1, 2, 3, uh, 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So C, union D. I'll start off just writing out the first few elements here of uh, D. 1, 3, 5, um, I just point out that the uh, 5, 7, and 9 are all elements of C. So we could just quickly look at that now. So what I'm going to do is actually just start writing uh, C. 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do now is the intersection. So let's just pick out the elements that are in both. So we have 5 is in both, there, 7 is in both, there, and 9 is in both. So C intersection D is 5, 7, and 9. So the last one is E union F and E intersection F. So we have E union F. Let's write them out. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9. That was straightforward enough. Uh, but what we're going to have, this is a bit, that was straightforward enough considering we've had uh, had two examples already. But what I'm going to do now is E intersection F. So which, uh, that's not an N actually, sorry. Which elements are in both? Well, in this case, we actually don't have any elements in both. All we have here is an empty set. So there are no elements in this intersection set. And that ends our